Welcome to Go Bears Diecast Workshop, episode 65. Remember, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so that you'll be notified of my future videos. This happens to be a four horseman bill for the month of June. Uh, the casting is the custom auto and you're to add flames to it. That's the theme. But just a little history. Here is the original artwork from the original blister packs when Hot Wheels was originally manufactured back in the 60s. And it was designed by Otto Cooney. So he worked for Mattel for over 45 years. And back on the 40th anniversary, Larry Wood actually created this car in honor of Otto. They considered it to be the Lost Red Line. Now, I'm not sure exactly where I'm going with this, but with it being flames, I'm not sure I'm going to turn it into a red line. But maybe that would be a future project for me. But again, uh, Otto, you know, he worked for Mattel for over 45 years. And designing the art for the original blister pack was just one of many of his contributions to uh, the Hot Wheels collection. He also did the collector's buttons, the play sets, and accessory packages, tracks, uh, a whole bunch of different things. But he worked for them for until 1995 and um, he passed away just recently uh, a few years back in uh, 2017. But here I've already drilled it apart and there's the base, interior, it's got a clear glass and of course the casting itself which I think it's a pretty neat looking car. I like the the shape of it, the stance but we're going to go ahead and get it in some stripper and see how the casting is actually looking underneath the paint. So what I'm doing here is using my wire wheel going over the entire casting. I want to make sure that there is no paint remnants left over. so that we can put on another coat of paint. But make sure you go over the entire thing. Uh, prep work is very important. And you'll see some of the little blemishes in the casting itself as you use the wire wheel. I'm going to follow it up with uh, the sanding disc. Now this is a 320 grit, uh, the burgundy color. I actually like those a lot. It's like a scotch bright. And I go over the entire casting again. I'm going to make sure that I cover it all and then I'll probably follow up with uh, some 400 grit sandpaper. All of this is in preparation of getting the body ready for paint. This is something that you should not skimp on. There was a few little cast lines that I hit with the uh, needle files and now I'm going back over the top of it just smoothing it out. The casting was actually uh, not bad at all. Like I said, it's a pretty interesting looking little car. I really like the uh, lines that it has. But again, uh, the theme of this is going to be flames. So next I had to design the flames itself. This is a piece of uh, vinyl stick tape that I 
will cut out with this uh, X-Acto micro knife. If you guys hadn't seen these, um, I got picked this one up from Hobby Lobby. I really like it. You can buy the extra blades, of course, and it's just like holding a pen in your hand. So it's a little bit uh, narrower and thinner, and you have a lot more control. But what I'll do is I'll cut this out, and then when I'm ready to apply it to the casting, then I will use uh, both pieces there, what I consider to be the positive and the negative. Put some on the hood and some on the roof, and you'll see where I'm going with this. All right, I've got it primed. I'm going to come back with my first coat of color. Now I'm going to spray the entire car with this uh, splash paint nitro yellow. Nice even coat. Again, uh, you guys know I'm a big fan of the splash paints. I just love them. No fat, no mess, no fuss, mixing. If you've got too much in your airbrush, you can pour it right back into the bottle. So you don't have a lot of waste. But again, just take your time. Nice even coats. After I finish spraying it, I'll let it dry for 24 hours. Now I've come back and I'm starting to spray the red. And I'll fade that in. The stencils are on there. As you can see, it's very light coats, so I can get the proper fading that I want. There you can kind of see the vinyl that has been taped on and I like to hand draw my flames and once I get the shading the way I want it I'm going to pull off the vinyl immediately I don't leave any tape or anything on because you don't want to have any residue or the paint to peel up with it And then I'll come back immediately with uh, the 2K Clear, which I use the automotive 2K. I bought it from my uh, local automotive paint store, and it is, I've had it, you know, close to a year. Got plenty of it left. It's, it keeps very well. Now I'd like to remind you guys what we started out with. Uh, custom Auto. Uh, metallic Purple. Theme was to uh, put flames on it. And this was a brand new casting out of the package. So it's in real good shape. I did do some details to the final product, and here it is. 
as you can see I faded it from the yellow to the red I have my flames on top I use the chrome Molotov pen to detail the wheels and the side pipes I left the interior light I thought it matched up real good I put the tail lights in on the back I came back with the chrome Molotov pen and then came back with the red and orange Sharpie to detail the rear tail lights I left the front grille black and I like I said I hope you guys like it there'll be some glamour shots at the end remember like subscribe share I'm so close to a thousand I could just about taste it I think I'm about uh, 48 people away uh, hoping to get that thousand soon just a personal goal of mine and I'll see you guys on the next one. Enjoy the glamour shots.